5.1.6 release, we are continuing our usability improvements for facility booking to help you enter and maintain contracts more quickly and easily. In the previous update, we gave you the ability to do bulk update on your fees, and now we've brought that same bulk update functionality to the extras. Uh, the next phase after this will be bulk update for your view sessions. So I'll pop in here. Uh, what I have here is set up a, a baseball league um, for some recurring days on a specific baseball field, and I've had some lights added for the extras here. So if I go ahead and click on Customize, um, this should be very familiar to you if you've reviewed the fee update where you can actually filter. So for example, if I wanted to say all of my sessions in October, based on my lighting schedule. I want to bulk update those. I can filter first. Um, one thing to note, the functionality that when changing the start time respects the duration and as a result moves the end time still exists. So if I change this to 5 p.m. it'll drag the end time back an hour. Uh, but if I change the end time then the start time doesn't change. Um, this is functionality we've had in the system for a little while. Uh, we are doing an update in the future to be able to specify which extras you want this kind of functionality to apply to and which ones they don't. So lights obviously would be one that you do not. So that still is, is the case that this um, duration will stay constant when changing the start time. So the reason I raise that is if lights are the bulk of what you utilize this for, um, you're going to want to continue the current method of changing the end time first and then changing the start time. So for example, if you want to change your start time from 6 p.m. when the lights come on to say 7 p.m., you're going to be moving that ahead an hour, which will push your end time ahead an hour. So what you first want to do is move your end time back an hour to compensate, and then you can move your start time. So I'll show you how this works you have bulk update, you choose your end time, same functionality as we have for the fees bulk update. If you had multiple times you could pick and choose the times you want but this is all all sessions have the same end time so we just leave it with select all and then to compensate for that hour we're gonna move the start time ahead we move the end time back an hour and go ahead and just in one bulk update it changes all of those sessions to 9 p.m. Now we can go ahead and go back in and change the start time, the 6 p.m. start time, to our new 7 p.m. start time, and go ahead and save. And because it's keeping that duration constant when we change the start time, it pushes that end time back out to 10 p.m. And if I go ahead and clear my filter, I can now see all of the sessions again in this list and see that it only in fact changed those ones in October. I can then do the same thing for November and I'll just leave the end date blank and say that I want to just do all of the remaining sessions for November and December and say I want to change the start time to 8 p.m. for lights. Again I'll have to change the end time first by that two hour now compensation and so I can go ahead and do that by changing this back to 8 p.m. And then when I do the bulk update for the start time to push it from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m., it'll respect that two hour duration. And as a result, once it sets the start time to 8 p.m., it'll push that end time out to 10 p.m. again respecting that two hour duration. And if I go ahead and reset, which clears my date filters here, I then see all of my sessions as expected. October sessions from 7 to 10 and the remaining November, December sessions from 8 to 10. And I can go ahead and save that. So that shows you how to customize the start and end time. We have another nice little feature enhancement we've made here for you. So we have changed both graphically and functionally how we can exclude and include 
extras per session. So we change the little icon here to make it look a little bit different. Um, now, however, when you click to exclude, we do gray this out to let you know that this is in fact an excluded session. But instead of having that undo icon, which isn't really clear what you're undoing, um, it now shows include. So if you want to exclude a session, you click exclude. If you want to include a session, you click include. So I'm just going to go ahead and include or exclude sorry, a few of these sessions um, to show you the real fun part about this functionality that uh, I'm sure many of you have been wanting for quite some time. So I will go ahead and save these sessions that I have excluded. And now that I have clicked save, I will go back in to the customized pop-up and they are still there. So as many of you are likely aware, if you were to exclude a session currently for a day of an extra and you go ahead and save it, when you do go back in, it actually removes them from the list. So if your customer calls back and they want to actually put that back, um, whatever extra that happens to be, or you need to put it back for whatever reason, it required you to sort of redo that extra setup. So that is no longer required. Those all get saved and retained similar to how view sessions functions when you exclude a booking day. It does retain there for you to re-include it at a later time. So that covers off this feature. I hope this gives you some great usability um, improvements and uh, gives you some time back in your day. Please let us know how it's working for you on beta and give us some feedback. Thank you.